will come back to school and uh, your contribution to the new war or the you know system is unforgettable in a, in a world and once again tribute to our Mirmukdo and all the freedom fighters of the second independence we refer to it as second independence and uh, we pray for their departed souls and we expect the highest level of Janna to our almighty God however at the end of the the test of freedom is regained. Again, although you have lost your traumatized, we have to start from somewhere. And we were trying to start from the second chapter of our book, that is social responsibility of human resource manager of a company and we are dealing with the strategic human resource management course and social responsibility what the social responsibility the human resource manager is playing at the same time what are the strategic roles of the human resource manager to the society that we will discuss and if we refer to our level 2006 it is level 2006 in our country So, we are going to discuss about the social responsibility of human resource managers, social responsibility. Is the slides visible to you? All right? All right, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, social responsibility, as you are getting that the, all the organizations in this world has some corporate social responsibility. Is it it? Beyond the corporate social responsibility, human resource manager also work or play the change agent role. And that we will discuss today. First, we will discuss about the strategic roles of the human resource manager, especially the demographic changes in the work environment. And also then we will discuss about the case study. Case study what are the social responsibility played by the HR manager of Google that we'll discuss here in today's lecture. And in our national context, as you understand that this is the Square Textiles Limited. It's a Square Textiles Limited is a textile company and it is the Comprehensive Profit and Loss Statement. Comprehensive Profit and Loss Statement. You find that there is an allocation for workers' profit participation and welfare fund. And it was 50 million in 2013. So this huge amount of money is directed from the profit for the welfare of the employees as a corporate social responsibility, as a corporate social responsibility. It is the legal boundary in our country. As per the level of 2006, allocation for worker profit participation and welfare fund is 5%. 5% of net profit before charging taxes. Taxes as per the level of 2006, chapter 15. And it shall be allocated among eligible workers as defined in the SAID Act. And this is not only applicable for the textile company. Level law is not only applicable for the textile business. Level law is applicable for all the companies in our country. All the companies. 
So all the companies in our country deduct a 5% from the net profit for the welfare of the employees. And who are eligible? These are described there in section 15. This is only for the workers, not for the managers or other parties or owners of the organization. So are we playing the right role for the employees or not? We'll discuss about it. And there are several stages in your book. This type of cases are there. We will also discuss about the cases because ultimately our course is the human resource management or the advance of human resource management is strategic human resource management. Developing this, this safe way is a company who usually sells product for the female, female. And their 70% of its customer base is female. As their customers are female, they are trying to develop leaders or they, they are trying to develop female as their management or managers, female executives. This was their target. And the strategic objective, how to set the strategic objective of a company, you know, if you remember the different stages of strategic management, then you it will be much clear to you. Say, for example, you have to analyze the business, current business. You have to analyze the future opportunities. And then you have to analyze your strength, weakness, and then you have to set the strategic objective of a company. And after those steps, Safeway has set the strategic objectives. What is there? Strategic objectives, developing female leaders at Sepoy, Sepoy. And the objective was set in 2000, that means 24 years back. And we are still at this level. Championing change for women, position itself as an employer of choice. That means Sepoy will be the employer of choice for women because 70% of its employees, uh, customers are female, female. So they set the objective to develop female leaders. And to support the strategic objective of the company, the functional studies, that means HR studies, what are the HR studies undertaken by the HR department? HR department undertakes the programs, those includes Women's Roadshow, which involve presentations by female executives at Sepoy at locations throughout the country to facilitate learning, networking, and talent identification. So these are the HR programs. Also, you can say that these are the HR strategies to support the strategic objective of the company, HR strategies. What are the HR strategies? Roadshow, presentations, networking, learning, talent identification. When you will organize any program, maybe you can identify what are the talents or what are the different sources of talents. Say for example, you are now a student of BUP. But if you go to different locations throughout the country, you will find that there are many talented people who are fail to join with you at BUP, or Bangladesh University of Prop Shops. So uh, 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 by this way, you can identify the talents. Talents. So talent identification, ultimately the objective of the HR program that will lead to develop female leaders at the company or corporate level or business level, you can say, because it is only one business we are talking about. So human resource, this is also this is also social responsibility of the human resource manager because you will find the female leaders from the society. Society. And then as a human resource manager, as a human resource manager, you know that there are demographic changes in the workforce. Demographic changes, that means you know. Gen Z, we are talking about today. This is one type of workforce and their objectives. 
their activities, their knowledge base, their system, their environment is totally different. Their, their environment totally different. And this is true because, you know, we put the uh, movement of the students the, or quota protest, there we say quota protest. The quota protest was to confirm their agenda and the agenda was that quota free competitive jobs, jobs. And they were formed to achieve that goal. These are the, the, the objectives is set by the Gen Z or Generation Z or G. So this dem demographic change is must considered by the leaders. Sheikh Hasina failed to understand their strength. And that we did also. They even uh, didn't try to understand what is their demand and what is their features, demographic changes. Thinking of Sheikh Hasina, thinking of me and thinking of you are different because my generation is millennial or generation Y. Now you are belonging to generation G. There are some changes. Although we find that the students are not so much active in their jobs. They're living inside the home. They're not going to playground. These are the features, but they're very firm to achieve their objectives, the features of Gen Z. So they fail to understand the characteristics of the new demographic changes. changes. So demographic changes in society and the composition of the workforce are also creating a number of challenges for the management of HR. Yes, this is not only the problem of the Sheikh Hasina or the head of the government. The HR manager must have to understand the changes. HR manager. Because the nature of the people is different, we are going to show. Diversity has become and continues to be one of the principal buzzwords for the public and private organizations, diversity. In addition to demographic changes, there are some issues of diversity. There are some diversity that you have to think for as a human resource manager. As recognizing and promoting diversity is seen as critical for organizational success. It was better to uh, deliver the lecture before the quota protest. But um, as you know that we were prepared to deliver, we were ready to deliver the lecture. But due to your midterm exams and some other problems, we failed to do that. However, however we are delivering the lecture and the features, the quota protest, the second independence, um, you know, movement, all are linked with social responsibility, all are linked with social responsibility. So as a human resource manager, you have to take care of the demographic changes, you have to take care of the diversity. Diversity and demographic changes and diversity, you cannot, you cannot, um, uh, relate this diversity and demographic changes with the legal compliance. Legal compliance, for example, in our country, there is no equal employment opportunity laws, but there is a level law in our country. So you must have to follow the level law. This is must. This is mandatory to comply with the legal Framework is mandatory, but managing diversity is not, uh, you know, mandatory. And what is diversity, you know? People from different ages are working. People from different ages are working. People from different backgrounds are working together. People, people from different, uh, you know, religions are working there. People from different races are working together. So when they're working together, you have to manage them properly, whether there is any conflict between Hindu and Muslim, whether there is any conflict between the black and white. If the conflicts are there, your productivity must decline. 
so to make sure that you are you are confirming equity you are confirming equity you have to manage diversity properly you are you have to manage diversity properly properly so what are the differences between the compliance with the labor law or compliance with the equal employment opportunity law as equal employment opportunity law is not available in our country however the book has refer, referred to it and managing diversity is separate example imperas imperas it is mandatory as you as you get the point it is mandatory but managing diversity is not mandatory but it is important for the welfare of the company and it is voluntary and focus is compliance especially compliance and productivity and here the focus is understanding each other hindu and muslim will work together and you cannot stop them working together it is a matter of understanding managing diversity is a matter of understanding and the elements are usually limited to race gender and ethnicity here in in the this is uh you know american aspect american aspect only limited to race that means there will be no racial differences there will be no gender related differences male and female are equal ethnicity those who are coming separate example latinx or latin american asian american there will be no difference as per the uh, equal employment opportunity law but all elements of diversity and the elements are not li limited to race gender ethnicity there are a lot of uh, you know elements of diversity separate example uh, uh, experience and unexperience retired people are active people there are a lot of dimensions of diversity we are going to show you what are the different dimensions of diversity and diversity is one of the social responsibility of the HR manager manager and company culture fitting employees into the existing culture but creating a new culture so when you are thinking to manage diversity you are creating a new culture there is fluid, there is adaptive fluid. So you are Muslim, so a new culture will be there in the company. Muslim and Hindu all can work together. So adaptive, fluid and adaptive. It is not like the fitting employees with the new, with the existing culture. And compliance is just, uh, you know, fitting into the existing culture, culture. And outcomes are preferences, quotas, and in outcome is equality, equality, and that you know, quota protest, isn't it? The students are learned. The students are very smart in today's world. They can understand what is happening and what is gonna happen. So outcome is equality. So what what you have fought for, you have fought for quality against what a system what a system so these are the some differences with managing diversity and compliance with the legal system of any country so as a human resource manager it is mandatory to follow level 2006 in bangladesh but when you are thinking to manage diversity when you are thinking to manage diversity then you have to make sure you are ensuring quality you are creating a new culture and you are working for the welfare of the company. You are working for the welfare of the company. All right. So th th these are the different dimensions. Uh, sorry. These are the different dimensions of social responsibility. Social responsibility. And Human resource manager is responsible for managing diversity in a company. But in tourist world, in tourist world, it is not only the responsibility of the human resource manager. Those who are working, you may know that among the Fortune 500 companies, 60% companies has their chief diversity officers or they are belong to C-suite. 
at the other end of the spectrum are the employers who have elevated diversity to the C-suite in the form of chief diversity officer, chief executive officer, chief financial officer, chief operating officer. These are the members of the C-suite, Siemens chief suite and chief diversity officer is also one of the new additions to the C-suite. Are you getting what is C suite? Are you with me? Yes, sir. Sir, I click to seven. Slide key, slide. Yes, sir. That's it. Okay. So we are dealing with the management of diversity. Management of diversity. Sorry. Yeah, are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This suite means chief executive officer, you know. He's the top manager of the company. CFO, that means Chief Financial Officer, top of the Finance Department, Chief Financial Officer, S Chief Operating Officer, uh, you know, COO, Chief Operating Officer, Chief Production Officer, CPO. These are, the, these are all together is known as C-suite. That means the top managers of the company is referred to chief and chief suite means that chief executive officer, chief financial officer, chief operating officer. But the new word that is added with the C suite is CDO or chief diversity officer. You are, you are not only human resource manager, after finishing this course, what you will address yourself, you will address yourself that you are the strategic human resource manager and this is true all big companies consider human resource manager as the strategic human resource manager and the task of diversity managing diversity for the moment uh, is, is the job of the human resource manager because in our country there is no company who has their chief diversity officer Chief Diversity Officer in previous days was reporting to the Human Resource Manager or Chief Human Resource Officer of a company. company. So in the C-suite, like Chief Financial Officer, Chief Diversity Officer is also one of the members of the C-suite. And top Fortune 500 companies, you know, there is a Fortune magazine. They <clears throat> every year they publish top 500 companies all around the world. And out of the 500 companies, 60% of the companies has their CDO position. So human resource, all the job, although the job is played by the human resource manager, the job is like the managing people in the company, but for the betterment of the society because of the social responsibility, because of the social responsibility of the business, they are opening a new C-suite and there is chief diversity officer. And, and you, you will be astonished because uh, around 20 years back, 20 years back, Global accounting and uh, consulting firm PwC or Price Waterhouse Coopers established their CDO role. At that time, the position was contained within the HR function. That time, it was one of the there are different segments in the human resource management department. You know, there is a recruitment section, there is selection section, there is training section, there is training manager, there is selection manager, recruiting manager, there is performance appraisal manager and diversity manager. Diversity manager is also there. Diversity manager is also there 
and the position was directly reporting to the oh, sorry uh, a, a hr department uh, at that time at that time the position was contained within the hr function like recruitment like selection like training like performance appraisal but now the position reports directly to the chairman of the board that means a separate c suite reflecting the increasing the importance the company is uh, placed on the diversity management diversity management so managing diversity has become much important in big companies especially fortune 500 companies and you the people will maybe will work in very big companies so you will consider that managing diversity is a social responsibility of the manager managing diversity is a social responsibility of the managers and when you are managing people in the company you have to think about the growing of the workforce what is growing of the workforce here gen alpha gen z gen y gen x baby boomers traditionalists all are working together so when you are managing diversity you have to think about the demographic characteristics of the people who are working there say for example a traditionalist those who were born before 45 and it was eight percent but it is now it is zero percent there is no people who are working who were born in between 1922 and 1945. So there is no such employees working in the companies. So you do not think about those traditionalists. You have to think about the baby boomers. Those who, those who are the veteran at this moment. They are very much experienced. They are working at the high level positions. And Generation X those who born in between 65 and 80 and still you are not generation x you are you are maybe many of you are those especially those who are undergraduate students or all are gen z and those some of you are working there millennials or known as the generation y why this the highest percentage maybe now in the workforce 50 percent is generation y people are working they are optimistic they like multitasking and, and this is true you like multitasking because some of you right this moment are listening lectures at the same time you are with the social media am i right or wrong some of you are using facebook right this moment isn't it no sir so you are we, not but maybe some of you some no, of you sir. not all multitasking they like multitasking they're doing more than one job together together socially responsible and yes you prove it you're the socially responsible people the government is not all and what you have shown that you bring the independence of the country socially responsible and tech savvy isn't it we are delivering lecture isn't it through because of technology technology so this generation 50 percent of the 50 percent of the working people is generation y and gen z the latest edition latest edition to the today's workforce is gen z and they are encompassing those born in between 1970 or sometimes it is referred to as 2000 because millennials is referred to as 2000 you born after many of you born after 2000 and 2012 and your age those who are gen z their age is around 20 five around 24 or 25 and gen z and you know the age limit is given here gen z their age is around 12 to 27 12 to 27 and many else they are uh, 28 to 43 and uh, those who are working they belong to this group but the features of gen z is different 
they don't like playing outside they like watching games they don't like outside games they like computer games and the next gen is you know alpha generation alpha my kids are alpha generation and i find that the differences are very significant differences are significant i am delivering lecture here but they are changing the slides from the other room are you getting the point yes sir so gen g gen, oh, sorry uh, gen alpha their, their demographic characteristics is totally different and they use different short uh, short term separate example idk maybe you know because some of you are also uh, still um, you know father or mother so maybe so they use us uh, um, few years back i was asking to my son that what is sus he said it is suspected suspicious they use idk what is idk i don't know they, so there are several new terminals added with the jc i don't know i don't know. yes you, you, you because you are also young 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 you are dealing with the young people so the features of Gen Z you seen few days back that a new independence as brought by the Gen Z, and it was unimaginable even to me because I am not the Gen Z. I am I am you know uh, Generation X. It was unimaginable to me, and what they they don't uh, you know bother about their life. They laid down their life. Those who come out from the home and they say that we will not go back home without the result. So they set their goal and they are employing all their efforts, including life, to achieve the objectives. The difference is clear between X and Z. And I never, I never believe that they can achieve such a goal. Goal. This is truly speaking. I am. I, I thought that uh, Sheikh Hasina is, uh, you know, super power, powerful women, and he will not go anywhere. But the Gen Z knows that it is possible to out him from the country, and they did it. So as a human resource manager, you have to deal with different generations, especially Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z, Gen Z. And uh, Gen Alpha will come to the workforce after more 10 years. More 10 years, but there is also another problem. Say, for example, your, uh, your friend, your friend uh, Mugdo, he's also working, isn't it? Fiber, he was working in fiber, maybe. So, Jane Alpha, Jane Alpha is now in tourist world thinking to earn money. My son is talking with me that how we can earn money. He enrolled in a, you know, a programming course. Right this moment, I am delivering lecture and he is now joining in programming uh, class. He is only 11. So, they are thinking about the income generation so gen alpha is coming to the market very soon very soon maybe we we, we started our jobs in at the age of 24 5 you have started in 20s and they will start their job in their you know 15 16 years so the alpha is also coming and their demographic board uh, characteristics are different different so advanced cell healthcare Advances in healthcare are allowing us as a society to live longer. And the, this, this characteristics is no more now. Remain healthier longer and remain in the work place longer. It is known as the growing of the workforce. That means many army officers. Um, maybe there is no army officer in your classroom. But in our previous uh, uh, you know, semester, two were from the army people and one is working in a company no, after serving military that means they're young and they can work in the other companies companies so 
So the, uh, the, the workforce is growing and can create a number of challenges, both real and perceived. Older workers are often perceived to be more resistant to change. And I'm older relative to you. So if you are going to bring any changes in the system, I will resist it. Particular in implementing radically new programs. Say for example, today I can use uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, but if you introduce some special features in presentations, presentations, it may be difficult for me and I will resist the change. So as a human resource manager, you have to think about the demographic diversity, demographic diversity, who are you? dealing with who are your employees are they mixture of baby boomers generation x generation y or gen g you have to think about their characteristics and it is your social responsibility which responsibility we are playing at this moment it is your social responsibility so social responsibility and, uh, you know, not only limited to 5% contribution from the uh, company's profit to the employees, social responsibilities also includes managing diversity, managing demographic characteristics of the people. You have to understand the people. So how, how the generational diversity is a social component? Who can tell me? Are with me? Man, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, um, Mr. Rahat, are you here? Yes, sir. So, can you tell me how diversity is a social responsibility or managing diversity is a social responsibility of the HR manager? Uh. Uh, so in today's world, uh, there are different types of employees and organization like uh, Generation Z, Generation Y. So HR manager uh, has to deal with them because every uh, generation has a different kinds of demographic characteristics. So based on those situations and characteristics, we have to manage each employee. So, so in this way, Ms. it Tamina, is a kind of social responsibility. Ms. Tamina, what is diversity? Ms. Tamina. Can you hear me? So she is busy with multitasking, is it? Multitasking, the features is, features, multitasking, but she is not doing any task. And Mr. Shabman? Then I'm here. So what is diversity? Diversity is the um, basically the sir. It also is a data group and mute change jetta jetta hoche mane kono ta specific uh, function kach korano jonno data je uh, diverse and diversification ekta ba change je generation gap kono je je change. Ta. So can, can you remember the definition of uh, you know different types of strategies? Diversification is one of the strategies. What is yes, diversification strategy? What, what is diversification study and what is a differentiation strategy? Who can tell me what is diversification and uh, differentiation strategies are? Basically, sir, uh, I don't have the company expand for a Juno Jetta Shetan, sir. Diversification strategy company to them expand for the Jet, the Honota Jama Bino product Nama Katsuka, the Sheta Hotel expand my business expand for Juno. So that is also a strategy, isn't it? Yes, sir. But the HR manager, diversity, di managing diversity is 
managing the people who are working in the people, which some people may be from different religion base, some people may be different age groups, some people may be different races. So you have to create a culture. And if you can remember that, that managing diversity means managing new culture. Managing diversity means managing a creating a new culture, isn't it? Creating a new culture. And I'm not adaptive with the new editions with the Google Meet. What happens to me? But this lives are So during this time, new features have added with the Zoom workplace and uh, there are a lot of problems I'm still facing. The slides are visible to you right this moment, isn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry? This is back to the slide. Now, there are some other cases that is written there in your book, Generation Y and Diversity at uh, Amber Crombie and Fish Fashion Retailer. The Amber and, and is a fashion retailer. How they apply their diversity strategies to manage the employees in that company. Amber Crombie and Fins employs a workplace that consists of predominantly of member of Generation Y. To engage these workers, NDAP conducts an annual diversity champion competition in which 20 employees are cited for their works to break down barriers surrounding differences such as religion, race, sexual orientation. Last year, the company received more than 600 sub submissions. That means, although they will recognize 25 employees, but they have received 600 submissions and what are the submissions that you can work with different religious religious people you can work with different races you can work uh, with male and female comfortably the, 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 these are the uh, contributions which included they have written essays there someone has written poems art and videos which relate to the importance of inclusion and working together uh, the subject matter is inclusion and working together, especially diversity management is referred to as DEBI. DEBI means diversity, inclusion, belongness, D-E-I-B, sorry. Uh, D-E-I-B means diversity, E, equity, I, inclusion, and B is belongingness, D-E-I-B or managing diversity, also referred to as DIB. The winning submissions are selected. The winning, winning submissions are selected. The winning submissions are selected by peers and important reference group for Generation Y employees. Amber Crombie doesn't believe in employees resource groups believing that they can be isolating, but rather opts to create one big family. So, that managing diversity is also important to create one big family, one big family. Sorry. I mean, actually, if Konta on Korea car car on Konto of pre lecture day, ask her to say, I'm an internet share for this. If Konta is a kind of Konta on Korea, sorry, I'm sorry for that. 
consistent with the values and attitudes of generation y employees the company office of diversity maintains a separate facebook page which features open conversation with and among employees surrounding diversity issues so can can you please tell me can you please tell me why the company is awarding 25 employees what is the strategic objective what is the strategic objective who can tell me Can anybody? Mr. Rahat? No. So, A and F, Amber Prombi and Finch is awarding 25 employees. Why they are awarding employees? Objective. What is the objective? The objective is that they will write a poem or write an essay or they will do some artwork or they will develop or create video. They will prove that, that they can work together. And what are the facts? Different religious people, different black and white people, race, deep male and female, can work together for the betterment of the company and they share the company's diversity management in a separate Facebook page. The objective is to improve the performance of the employees and to improve the performance of the employees, they will work together. They need to work together. So as a human resource manager, you have to focus on inclusion and working together. Whether they're coming from really, uh, different, uh, other religions, the, uh, whether they're coming from different races or whether they're from different ages people. So they work together. You have to prove as a human resource manager that the people are working together, working together in, a, in your company. Jaman after the AJ quota protest led to resignation of the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Is it only by the Muslims? Only by the black people? Only by the male people? You all work together. You all work together, and as a result, you have achieved a significant good result. There is the objectives of diversity management in your company to achieve the objective of your company you have to work together you have to work together that is known as diversity management it is one of the social responsibility of the human resource manager another company another company is intel you know they have also set a new strategic objective and the strategic objective is ethnic minorities in management positions. Ethnic minorities, say for example, in our country, the people from hill tracks are, you know, minorities. So ethnic minorities, why they have set the objective, ethnic minorities in the management positions? Because the top management, the HR manager has reported that the performance of the ethnic minorities are much better than the other people. So after analyzing the business, after analyzing the other steps of strategic management, they have set their objective to ethnic minorities, to appoint ethnic minorities in the management position. It is their strategic objectives. To achieve the objectives, this is the business objectives or corporate objectives and functional strategies are to assist, assist with recruiting. Intel hired a leading consulting firm. To achieve that objective to promote ethnic minorities in the management position, they have hired a consulting firm to assist in identifying the 10 colleges and universities with the highest minority enrollments in the field of circuitry 
design because their ultimately job is to design the circuit. Is it it? Intel. So who are best colleges in the country? So identifying 10 colleges and universities. Number one program, the HR manager undertaken. Intel has also established an undergrad minority scholarship fund also. After identifying the 10 colleges, they have identified one, they have uh, introduced a, a scholarship fund, a scholarship fund, undergrad scholarship fund. Maybe those who are uh, studying circuitry design or computer science, they are offering a scholarship fund. Intel has also established a college internship program. Into the, maybe someone, someone who is who is you know within the ten colleges, they all are invited to do their internship with Intel. Intel. Intel has developed a creative program for recruiting and developing minority employees. Employees. These are the HR program. This these are the HR programs. And what is the results of the HR programs? But the objective of you know ethnic minorities in the Management position, Intel has seen the proportion of ethnic minorities in the management position jump from 13 to 17% in a four-year period, despite efforts by its competitor to recruit its talent away. There are many people who left the organization that is known as they recruit its talent away. Despite efforts by, by its competitors to recruit talents away, the number of Ethnic minorities in the management position has increased from 13 to 17 percent. So, managing diversity, there are a lot of aspects. It is one of the aspects that have applied Intel to achieve the objectives of the company because ultimately the talented people they have found that are coming from ethnic minorities. So develop this ethnic minorities for the management position. It was set as the objective at Intel. Intel. PepsiCo. How they manage the diversity? PepsiCo is a, you know, company is very known to you. PepsiCo has one of the corporate leaders in promoting diversity among its employees. And its commitment to diversity includes holding senior executives themselves personally accountable for diversity. So your HR manager, you have to, you have to be accountable. What are the diversity initiatives you have taken? You are the marketing manager. You have to prove you are personally responsible, accountable for your, for diversity management. <coughs> ESO PepsiCo CEO direct reports has been the responsibility of working with a specific group of employees in understanding the workplace issues is group, including white males, black employees, Latinos, gay, lesbian employees, and employees with disabilities phases. So understanding the workplace issues is group phases and the workplace issues may be different issues. However, is groups executive comes from Outside the group being overseen and mentor. Executives identify high performing, high potential individuals within their groups, communicate the needs of each group to each other and are held accountable for addressing the concerns of their group assigned. This level of executive commitment and accountability greatly distinguishes uh, PepsiCo from its corporate peers relative to diversity. So what is the diversity management strategy here in PepsiCo? PepsiCo appoints, you know, there are different, different groups, separate example, white males, black employees, Latinos, gay and lesbian employees. So different people from different origins are working here. Although they're working together, Although they're working to, together, they have their own group. Say for an example, when you will work in the United States, some of those who are uh, Muslim background, you will have a group, Muslim group. If you go to India, you will find that there are some groups or if Indians work in the United States, there is a separate group, Hindu group, Christian group, 
if you find that black and white employees are there, maybe black employees have their own group. So is groups executives come from the outside? No, say for example, Muslim, those who are working in the United States, there is a Muslim community. The leader, group executives of another religion will be appointed to oversee the activities of Muslim group. And the executives will identify the problems they're facing. The group being overseen and mentored. Executives identify high performing, high potential individuals within their groups and communicate the needs of each group. So what are the problems Muslim community is facing? So please help them. What are the problems the black employees are facing? Help them. The PepsiCo is responsible to help them. How to, you, you know, identify their problem and how to solve this problem for the betterment of the PepsiCo's performance. Are you getting what is the um, diversity strategy undertaken by PepsiCo? Are you getting? Yes, yes. sir. Mar Marufa, Marufa, are you here? Miss Marufa. Where is Miss Marufa? I lost her. Is that Miss Orpita? Miss Orpita, are you here? Siddiqui Rahman. Mr. Siddiqui Rahman. Who are listening to my lectures? I, I, I'm very I'm doubtful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. So maybe um, we need to take the attendance. Some of you are joining the class but not listening to lecture. Siddiq Roman is not here. Marfa is now. Orpita is also not with me. Samira, Samira. Samira. Marufa, can you hear me? Yes, sir. So what we are talking about at this moment? Sir, managing diversity at PepsiCo. PepsiCo, good. So what is the PepsiCo strategy to manage the diversity in the company? What's the strategy? Can you tell me what is the strategy? Who can tell me what is the PepsiCo strategy to manage the diversity in the company? Sir, may I? Yes, please. Okay, as uh, this is one of the most prominent corporate leaders in promising diversity among all its employees, especially the executives and the senior employees um, who are holding the, themselves personally accountable for these types of uh, managing diversity. They are focusing on some specific parts, including white males, black employees, Latinos, gay and lesbian employees with their disabilities. Additionally, uh, who's that came from outside uh, at their company? Uh, they are uh, over, they are mentored and overseen by the senior executives uh, to identify their high performing, high potential individualities among their groups, and and also they are communicating with the needs of each of the groups uh, with each other. Different groups. What is the role of the company? If they identify a problem in any group, that means if there are several groups, the groups may be 
white groups this may be uh, black groups maybe latinos maybe muslims maybe hindus they will identify they will oversee they will mentor they will identify the problems if there is any problem the company will solve the problem for the betterment of the company it is the man diversity management strategy at that company that means the company managing the, the company is given focus to manage the diversity for the betterment of the corporate culture and they are creating a new culture culture of belongingness what's the culture or div that we say diversity e equity i in chance and b belongingness so they are creating a new culture in the company and in our country we have to focus on developing a new culture that will incorporate all the DIB issues. And now, what is diversity? What is diversity? You know, you have got the idea of what diversity is. Diversity includes personal issues. Separate example, personally, you are living in Gulshan. So, your group and those who are living in Mirpur, different groups their activities are different diversity race hindu muslim age some of the people who are working in your company are aged above 50 some those who are working are below 25 or below 30. so there are some age group religion gender physical ability disabled ethnicity, marital status, family status, hobbies. So the diversity can be different based on these different factors or individual aspects of diversity. <coughs> individual dimensions of di diversity, personal dimensions, and the work related dimensions. Some are motivated employees, some are not motivated employees. Personality of some people is different from the personality of the other employees work ethics some people are corrupted some are very good experience some are experienced some are new come on attitudes of people are different towards their job something that the job is very good some are thinking that the job is not good for me job responsibilities you are hr manager another is marketing manager employment status you, you are full-time Employee, some are part-time employee. You are exempt employee, some are not exempt employee. So there are a lot of dimensions of diversity. These are the different dimensions of diversity. So when you are going to manage the company, you are going to manage the human resources. They are all people. The diversity is coming from the people people so you have to apply your strategies the strategies are different one case study will make it more clear what may be the different strategies to manage the diversity in a company and we will discuss about the google diversity report to 2022 this the there are a lot of strategies human resource strategies or people strategies applied by the company to manage the diversity diversity and when you are going to manage the diversity there are several steps what are the different steps separate example number one define why diversity is important for the company so do you think that the pepsico or and that means amber from the or finch or pwc Price Waterhouse Coopers. That examples we have already shown before you. They have set their objective, isn't it? Determine why diversity is important. Intel. They have set a new strategy to develop ethnic leadership in the top management. So why diversity is important? They have studied. That means 
analyzing the current business, analyzing the opportunities. That means the steps of strategic management, SWOT analysis. After all the analysis, they have set the new objective that women in the leadership is very important. Say for example, safe way. One of the cases we have studied that is safe way. Safeway has set the objective to invite women in their leadership position or promoting women to hold the leadership positions. So what you have to do, you have to determine, determine why diversity is important for the organization and, and you know why. In Safeway, a separate example, their objective was because why their 70% of the customers are female. So female leaders is very important. So first you will, first what you will do, you will determine why diversity is important for the organization. Then articulate how diversity relate to the mission and strategy of the objective of the company. So missions may be different. Say for example, mission is to increase sale 20%. So you're, you, you will link your objective of diversity management with the objective of the company. That means mission of the company. Then define diversity and determine how inclusive its effort will be. That means now you'll define what type of diversity. Is it racial diversity? Religious diversity? Is it, you know, about um, age group diversity? Then you will define it. And then make a decision as to whether special efforts should be extended to attract a diverse workforce. Then you will take special measures. And these were the jobs of the strategic HR manager. And today's world, there is a separate position, chief diversity officer. So beyond the human resource manager, there is also one more position has created in the company corporations. There is chief diversity officer. And we have said that it is one of the additions to the C-suite, chief suite. Assess how existing employees, customers, and other positions feel about the diversity. Is the diversity fine for them or not? If it is not acceptable to the customers, it is not acceptable to the employees. So you do not need to employ your extra effort. Then you have to do something else other than managing that type of diversity and determine a specific types of diversity initiatives that will be undertaken. Now, if you think that it is important, then you will set the different diversity strategies and what may be the different diversity strategies we are going to show you through the case study, Google Diversity Report. Google Diversity Report, the report is available here. You can read the report from there. Before that, let's check the summary of the report. I have summarized the report here for you to understand why diversity is important or managing diversity is important. DEI or DEIB, Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Timeline at Google. They have started the DEIB issues in 2005, first head of diversity is hired. In 2009, first company, company-wide goal for diversity, equity, and inclusion is set. In 2010, EMA, EMA means Europe, Middle East, and Africa, and APAC, Asia Pacific. Diversity team expands globally with hiring of leadership in EMA and APAC. EMA means Europe, Middle East, Africa, and Asia Pacific region. That means that diversity effort is expanding. From 2005, they have hired the chief diversity officer. Now they are finding managers for the EMA and Asia Pacific region, those who are diversified, who can manage the diversity, who believe in 
diversity management. And in 2013, they have started a new training program and the name of the training program is Unconscious Bias Training. So it is one of the HR strategies. Training is HR function, isn't it? So one of the training strategies is unconscious bias training. That means you are working together. You are working betterment for the company, but you are making some unconscious bias that is hampering the company's performance. So what are the unconscious bias that the employees are making there in the company? The diversity team has introduced a unconscious bias training. And by 2020, it has been completed by more than 84% of the HR managers. So diversity as there is a separate department, that's why people manager or HR manager has got trained unconscious bias training. That means you are, are you conscious about your jobs? Are you hampered by your actions? Are you eating food loudly? Are you praying loudly? Are you saying prayer calls? Jajan, Azam then after Japan have no Azam to the barbell. Unconscious bias. You are thinking that Ajan or calling for prayer is very important. Ajan could be good to put no. Jore Ditabe, Shabaiki Janatabe. Kintu Apni Japanese Jodi Agjoner Bashar Shop the Agjon Shudu the Shunta by the Shatasha the Polish call for me. Apni Goreboshe, Jogra Kurta Sensha, Jogra Jodi, Pasher Bashataki Shun, Shatasha the Polish call the way. Are you getting the point? So, new training, unconscious bias. You are doing, it is not good, but subconsciously you are doing. What type of activities you can do or you cannot do. This training has launched there in Google. By 2014, 20, 20, uh, 2014, Google publishes diversity data publicly. If you check the Google diversity report, you will find what is the percentage of female? What is the percentage of male employees in their company? How many Muslim people are working? How many Hindu people are working there? How many ethnic people are working there? How many people who are retired are working there? You will have a complete diversity statistics. And they have started publishing in 20, from 2020, 2014. Google launches a gender so gender equality portfolio. Gender equality portfolio, you are getting that how many people, how many male are working, how many female are working, how many male top managers are there, how many female top managers are there. You will find a complete portfolio. By 2020, it has dedicated 55 million to create Economic, uh, economic empowerment for women and girls. So as you've seen that women and girls are these advantageous people or Jeta Camera Bolliji Apnar PCA Pora group. And Professor Yunus, our honorable chief advisor, his, uh, his whole work is related with the development of women and girls. Grameen Bank, advancing loan for the women. So, development of the women and girls is very important. They have invested 55 million. It is also diversity management issues because these people were not working anywhere. Now they are working. 20, uh, 2015, Google launches a racial justice portfolio. That means um, you are black. You are facing any problem. And the, the problem is no more. That means there is a separate racial justice portfolio. And it has dedicated 104 million in grants and 20 
5000 um in pro bono that means pro bono means you do not need to pay any charges but you can take the training that is known as pro bono hours to advancing resale equity so they have invested 104 million for resale justice or resale equity 29 these are all the strategies for the people development in a company HR strategies, human resource strategies. 2019, diversity annual report expands to include LGBTQ+, plus, you know, lesbian, gay, binary, etc. LGBTQ+. Plus. Although it is not, uh, as a Muslim country, we do not promote such type of word. However, Google is not a Muslim company. Muslim company, so... They, they they are ultimately focusing on managing diversity diversity management and they found that there are people who are you know lgbtq so they have invested they have included a separate section about lgbtq people with disabilities people with disabilities this is very popular in our country also military and veterans as we have said that some of our people some of our people who are who were military military people but they have retired now they are workable and they are working in many companies companies so google has given special importance for the people who are workable and non-binary googlers non-binary is also you know lgbtq under googlers globally so managing diversity managing diversity is not only limited to your race male female disability it is also extended to lgbtq in 2025 they have also you know implemented racial equity commitments Launch to develop build sustainable equity for Google, Google's black community. So they have introduced a new system for the black people. Black people and black people they have identified that their talent, in other words, and make products and programs helpful to black users. So they are not only produce products and services for the white people they are also thinking that black people and white people are same so produce product for all of them in 2021 google invests 50 million in historically black colleges and universities in the united states in order to better address the diversity gap in tech that means some of you you are some of you are engineer isn't it? Some of you are computer engineer. Some of you are business graduate. So tech, tech education, especially it is also known as, you know, STEM. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM. So in tech, there is a gap in tech education. Don't you believe that in our country? Still, I believe that Tech education is very important rather than general education. So there is a gap and Google invests 50 million to address the gap. White people are better. Black people are not better. So this, this is our assumption. That's why they are going to bring equality among black and white people investing in black colleges and universities so there are some colleges and universities only black people are strictly enrolled so they are investing this 50 million to address the diversity and the report uh, the key takeaways of the report are number one is they apply diversity actions in hiring they apply 
diversity actions in retention and progression. They apply, they means Google for the moment. Social responsibility we are dealing with. These are the component of the social responsibility that the chief diversity officer and at the same time the human resource manager must recognize. In hiring, you have to think about the mitigation of diversity people. Oh, only the black people are working, oh, white people are working, so give importance on, on black people. Only the American, white American are working, so think more about the Latinx or Latin American. As the company is based on United States, that's why they are referring mainly the diversity in the United States. So when you are hiring people, you think about whole community, whole community, whether it's white, black, Latin, or native, or women, or men. They focus on hiring, diversity in hiring, diversity in retention and program, uh, progression. Retention, some people are leaving your company. Why the people are leaving your company? They have introduced new retention strategy and they have undertaken many strategies for the progression of the employees who are thinking to leave the organization, retention and progression. Then representation, only white people are re representing your company. So they're representing, they're calling your company as your home. So think that you are in your home. When you are working in company, you are thinking your home. So representation is, they have address representation and they think that it is your home. This is also another dimensions of diversity. Flexibility. I am now delivering lecture from home, isn't it? It's not impossible. It is not impossible and I can deliver lectures. I can deliver lectures and I have some flexibility. Part-time work, full-time work or hybrid work environment. Few days you will work from home. Few days you will come to office. You can work while you are in holidays, hybrid work. This is flexibility. This is also the job of the people manager. In Google, they say people manager and we say human resource manager, same thing. And belongingness and innovation. We took concrete steps to foster a culture of belongingness, working together, DIB, belongingness which help, helps us better design and build products with everyone in mind. So when you are designing a new product, when you are designing a new software, you have to think that all belongs to it. You cannot produce any product only for a specific group of people. So what are the hiring strategies Google has taken? as a social responsibility. We achieve our best year yet for hiring women globally. So they have given importance on hiring women as well as black plus uh, Latinx plus employees in the United States. The path to working at Google or in the tech industry starts long before someone is hired. How long before? Maybe you are the HR manager, you need some Computer engineer. So you need computer uh, computer engineer, especially for Google. So you cannot expect that the computer engineers are ready. They will join your company rather long before. That starts long before. Rather, which university or college in our country is producing best computer engineers? So invest in that university. Are you getting starts long before someone is hired? So you are giving scholarship to the students. You are giving new curriculum. You are contributing to de design the curriculum of that university. 
that is compatible with Google. Google. So it starts long before someone is hired. Hired. We continue to focus on equity in our hiring process. Equity, equity, inclusive hiring steps, cultural ad training, color intake to connect with, uh, you know, uh, black talent. That means you are not differentiating black and white. If you think that the black people are better, so why you will avoid them? Black text, um, take text, uh, sorry, black, Take first conference. They they also organize conference where black people can participate, and the company identifies why they are giving emphasis on black because many white people are working in the company. Number of black people are very much limited. Those who are working in Google, that's why they have introduced such type of conference. This is not giving more importance to black, but bringing equity in the company culture, diversity management. So are you getting? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So as a human resource manager, what are the HR strategies you think for after reading the case study, Google? So what do you mean by stars long before someone is hired? What is it? So maybe you are thinking that you need an employee who must have MBA degree. So can you think that the available MBA holders will invite for the position? It is short-term decision. And when you are thinking that you will hire the best one, best people in your company, then you will start long before. You will offer a scholarship program to the very good business schools. So for an example, you will offer a scholarship to BUP. BUP students will engage themselves, engage themselves for the improvement of the program program so when you will enjoy some scholarship what will happen you will not think about the sourcing of fund you will not do any other jobs rather you will give more importance on your study to learn better better but when a specific company will offer a scholarship like google they will also give some principles they will also give some principles to the university or a school, they'll contribute to design the syllabus. The syllabus we are teaching today may be obsolete, outdated. What are the improvements in the field? The corporate leaders can help to design the syllabus. So long before the recruitment, and we have, we have here means Google, have piloted and, and plan to expand a program to grow autism community at Google. And they have introduced new program, HR studies, Google Clouds Autism Career Program, a special program designed for the autistic people. Partnering Stand for neurodiversity project. You know, autism is a neuro disease. Autism is a neuro disease. So, Stanford has a project, neurodiversity project. Google is contributing. Google is donating fund for the project. New neurodiversity project. This type of projects are huge in developed countries, huge developed countries, especially professors or teachers have their independence to invite projects. But while I did my PhD uh, program, my professor has got, uh, you know, huge projects. And he sent me to 20 conferences in 20 different countries from that fund. 
So neurodiversity project, this is a Google sponsored pro uh, project. Google sponsor project. So a lot of projects are undertaken. Those are funded by the corporations, different corporations. The objective is to serve the society, social responsibility. Autism is a problem in the society. Google is, is uh, uh, initiated a program, Google Clouds Autism Career Program. So they are solving the social problem. So it is about social responsibility of the human resource manager. What is the title of the chapter we are going, going with? Social responsibility. So you have to identify this social problem and you have to solve this problem. As a corporate manager, as a HR manager, you have something to do. That is directed by Google. We help career barriers to increase our chances of attracting the best talents globally. So global, there are several global programs, several example, global MTU program, you know. At an industry level, we also help create more pathways into technology fields, impact challenge for women and girls. This is another human resource strategy of the company. Impact challenge for women and girls. And Social Builder is, a social, is an app that empowers women to thr uh, thrive in the digital economy. In 2021, Social Builder received support from the Impact for Women and Girls project of Google. So it is one of the program designed by the Google, or com uh, by this company. That is helping to empower the women, empowers women. And Social Builder is, a, is an app. And this app, to maintain this app, Google is helping. They are supporting financial support is coming from the Google and their program is Impact Challenge. Google is giving money to women developer academy. This is uh, this is a uh, you know academic organization, educational institutions. Google is funding the institution. Eighty million. Millions to organizations creating opportunities for women across the world. They have invested 80 million. They have given social builder. They have given fund to Women Developers Academy. And it is around 80 million. Why they are investing money? They are investing money as a part of social responsibility. And human resource manager is going to get better people in there company. Mind the Gap. This is another program. This is another program and started in Israel that encourages women and girls to pursue STEM careers. So especially many of you are STEM graduates, STEM science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So Mind the Gap. Mind the Gap is a program that ultimately gives scholarship to women and girls to career to uh, to pursue their STEM education because Google needs ultimately tech savvy people, employees, engineers, computer engineers, for example. So they are investing in Israel. Gave one million to partnership with Native Americans to help train ten thousand students at over fifty Native serving organizations. So. Not only thinking for the black people, Native Americans or Latin Americans. <laughs> now they are not only thinking about the Latin or Latinx, they are also thinking about the Native Americans. They are investing one million to ten thousand students. Why they are investing? They are investing that they are expecting good outputs in hiring we are we are dealing with the hiring strategies undertaken by google hiring strategies so 
mind the gap, impact challenge for girls. These are all the all the hiring strategies undertaken by the Google committed 600,000 to provide free digital skills training to indigenous job seekers across Canada. They are also investing in native native Can native Americans, native Canadians, indigenous or native job seekers across the country, Canada. So they are also investing huge fund as a matter of social responsibility and they are ultimately building a pool of employees. Employees are a pool to recruitment. Pool of candidates for Google. Maybe some people will not work in Google, but they will work in other companies. When they will work in another company, say from Apple, they will say that we are, we are helped by the Google funds. Hiring strategies of Google, connecting hiring and education. We have focused on increasing access to early and higher STEM education. Our partnership with 4H is a company. 4H is a company. Our partnership with 4H has brought coding skills to over 1 million students. So coding skill is important. Coding skills, they're offering coding skills to 1 million students. This is free. And fund is coming from Google. We supported workforce reentry efforts. Reentry that means you have you have already resigned from your company. You are not working. There are a lot of problems. You cannot cope up with the new technologies. That's why you have retired from the company. They are encouraging people for reentry efforts to, for uh, for under sub communities in the United States. Ten thousand people impacted by incarceration uh, on digital skills that help that can help them get a job start a new business so you can start a new business or you can get a job by taking the digital skills re-entry program older adults uh, who face gaps in digital skills get trained or older there are many people who are older they don't know how to operate a computer or something they got trained by Google. Through a 10 million grant from Google, the American Association of Retired People, there is the American Association of Retired People, will help 25,000 lower income older adults, particularly women and people of color, that means black people, or improve their technology skills. Black and transgender, they're also thinking about the transgender. Women learn how to code. It diversifies the IT field everywhere. So when the transgender people will be, will have some IT skills, many people will be interested to give them job. And there is a <coughs> program in Brazil. There is Reprograma. Mariel Rismil is the founder of Reprograma, a program dedicated to bringing more black and transgender women to Brazil's tech industry. Reprograma received support from Google, impact challenge for women and girls. So Reprograma is also getting fund from the Women Impact Challenge Fund. That is one of the strategies. And transgender and black people are getting touch with the technology. So what are the hiring studies uh, Google has undertaken? Can you summarize? Can you summarize the hiring studies as a part of social responsibility? What are the, what are the uh, hiring studies as a diversity management? is introduced by Google. Ms. Khandakar, Sh Shusha Khandakar, is it? No, sir, Shuasha. Shuasha. Yes, sir. Okay, so what is Mind the Gap? Yes, sir. What is Mind the Gap? 
Sorry, sir. I don't understand. Mind the gap. Mind. M I N D. Mind. The gap. This is the strategy uh, for Google. So hiring is easy. And mind the gap. And um, Miss Orpita, are you here now? So if we sum up, if we sum up the hiring strategy undertaken by the Google includes mind the gap, impact challenge for women and girls, isn't it? Programs for Latinx, Native Americans fund for programmer. Programmer means working for the black and transgender. These are all the recruitment or hiring techniques. And it starts before actual hiring in is taking place. They're supporting the different Diversity group. This diversity group will come to the company for jobs in future. These are the steps taken long before hiring. That it says starts long before someone is hired in the company. These are all the programs. So for example, uh, Black Tech Fest uh, Conference, Google's Clouds Origin Career Program, partner uh, partnering or project support to Stanford Neuro Neurodiversity Project. Impact challenge for women and girls. Um, then, you know, partnering with Native Americans, mind the gap in Israel. Israel, these are the programs undertaken by the company. Funding to 4 H for the coding skills of the students, supports re entry. So, as a human resource manager, you may think of the programs. You may think of the programs or although the strategies are undertaken by a company which is was number one. However, you have the options to work there. There are many people, there are many students who are working in Google from Bangladesh. So you can also be one of them, one of them, and you can hold the HR position there or people manager, people manager. These are the diversity issues and these are the social responsibility of the HR manager. This is the responsibility of the chief diversity officer. officer. And retention and progression. Retention means this is about hiring. Now though, those who are working in the company, you have to retain them in the company. You have to think for their development, progression. So those who are working in a company, you have to think about the retention and progression. Maybe you are some of you are working in, in some companies. So you are thinking that you will leave the organization. Why you will leave the organization? We expanded how we help employees thrive at Google and are seeing promising early signs. Why you are going to resign from the company. Early signs in inclusion and retention. That means some of you are thinking that they will leave the organization. So what are the early signs of leaving the organization? And when the company will get some early warnings, they will try to include them in the company. They will try to solve the problems for inclusion. And ultimately the people will retain in the company these are the all these are the retention and progression strategy and the strategy includes we have helped google leadership understand why people on their team sleep and why they stay so you have to understand why people live and why they stay stay and thrive team there is a separate team HR managers, future HR managers, there is a special team. And the name of the team is Stay and Thrive. Launch a new way to help leaders better understand their team's attrition data. That means you are a team leader. 
the attrition data is available with the stem thrive team and the uh, after analyzing the different characteristics attrition data those who leave the company this suggests whether some of your group members will leave the company or stay so there is a separate team for retention that is stay and thrive team there is another program google has undertaking that is up to me program it's up to me so if you are interested to leave you can go it's up to you but we have a lot of opportunities if you have any problem we have digital hub you can learn the resources from there all the resources are available for you participants work closely with our people operational specialists da experts so D, diversity, equity, and inclusion experts are working with the HR manager. People operations means what? What is people operations? Can you tell me what is people operations? People operations? Who can tell me what is people operations? Sirazum Monera. Can you? Uh, sir, I think... Uh, people operations... Well, responsible for managing uh, the life cycle or the workforce effectively. People operations means human resource management. Yes, sir, traditionally we can say it human resource management, but actually in under an organization, we can say uh, that uh, who are responsible for managing the employees throughout the, or managing the employees or workforce effectively. So the people operations means human resource operations, HR operations, and DEI experts, that means diversity management, diversity team works closely with the HR department and our employee resource group leaders to define a specific meaningful goals and achieve them. That means if there is any problem with the people, DA problem, then they deal it with the people managers and then they try to solve them. We also launch a digital hub. That means if you have a skill problem, if you have any skill problem, there is a digital hub you can take some Lessons from there, learning materials, podcasts, short stories are there, and it's up to you. This is it's up to you program. It's up to you program ultimately helps you to retain in the company also progress. Progress means if you have any lacks, you can learn materials. New opportunities for going to mentor one another. Another program, Elevate Plus. Elevate plus is a is a mentoring program you friends may face some problem when one employee face problem can talk to another employee one to one mentorship program elevate plus this is also one of the diversity management issues hr management issues retention issues elevate plus is a one to one mentoring program especially for the black employees and they have also created a another program that is known as momentum <coughs> elevate plus is one of the strategies momentum is another strategy so as a strategic human resource manager you have to identify different strategies what is momentum a uh, biannual uh, mentorship program designed to help members of black google and network there is a black google and network they are helping these black googlers through momentum program they organize some workshop mentorship program and it is uh, only for the canadian people based advance their careers so elevate plus Momentum are the programs or mentoring program of Google. Mentoring program. We gave parents, especially mothers, more healthcare resources. There are healthcare special designs for the health care of the mothers. 
Maven maternal health care program, health program. This is another strategy. There is another program or strategy that is taken by the company is Maven maternal health program to give expecting mothers and parents at Google more support. Support. This is also another HR related strategy. The program also provides the, this program also provides mental health support through pregnancy loss as well as LGBTQ inclusive preconception guidance uh, around IVF, uh, IUJ, egg freezing, surrogacy. These the, the, are the you know um, different different medical related issues for you know, being a mother. For being a mother, these are the different medical related issues, and um, uh, it, maybe you have some knowledge about IBF, IUJ, egg freezing, surrogacy, adoption, etc. So these are under the mental health program or maybe maternal health program. Program. They have introduced separate programs, so you will also introduce this type of program in your company for the expecting mother's support they have also introduced asian plus googlers program help create safe uh, spaces and career support we piloted a nine month professional development program for the asian uh, asian plus googlers where internal facilitators help participants structure their careers growth and develop their Unique leadership style. This is Asian class program. You can introduce different programs. Say for example, Gen Z program to help them get their better jobs because they have contributed a lot for the independence, second independence of Bangladesh. So you can think of those different programs in future because they came to the field, they came to the road, with the objective of letting their life for the achievement of their objectives. Outside of Google, we supported global upskilling and reskilling programs. These are also the programs introduced by Google. It is not for the Google employees, but for the society, social responsibility, upskilling and reskilling program. Upskilling, say for example, you are a computer engineer. When you are a computer engineer, a lot of new additions or add-ons are coming to the field. So you have to learn those new skills, upskilling. Say for example, in Western world and also in developed countries, <clears throat> When you are getting a certificate as a computer engineer, this certificate is not valid all over your life. After a few years, you have to take more tests, advanced tests for the computer engineers. They have to sit for the test. For the medical professionals or the doctors, they have to take tests every year or after few years. Otherwise, his MBBS certificate is not valid. Valid. Because there are new new upgradations, new system developments are there. They have to know about the new symptoms, new diseases, new medication techniques, etc. Skilling program, reskilling program. So same skills are trained once more for betterment. This type of programs are offered by Google for the social development. We, we open global enrollment for new career certificates in data analytics, project management, UX design. UX design, you know, uh, the, the Windows program. Project management. Today's project manager needs to have some, you know, software skills. Separate example, Microsoft project. Although we know how to operate Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, Excel, but we, some of you may are not acquainted with the project management, Microsoft project. 
and there is separate certification system certification system that is known as you know project management professionals pmp you have to sit for the examinations pmp project management professionals data analytics insurance all and for you for your information your degree say for an example business administration these are going to convert into business analytics because everything is based on data artificial intelligence and big data is playing the role to change the environment so data analytics project management ux design these are the special certification program these are offered by google for the improvement or upgrading skills and reskilling in partnership with the singapore government they are also partnering with different governments google launch skills ignition in singapore the, the program's name is skills ignition a new program that equips trainees with skills to build a career in an economy that's becoming increasingly reliant on technology so this type of program you have to introduce in your company in your company and there are a lot of organizations are helping say for example <clears throat> adb asian development bank is helping to launch the, this type of program in bangladesh or, or my school that means bangladesh university of textiles is running a skill ignition project from uh, about uh, 2019 and still we are continuing such program and it is funded by asian development bank so this type of program is also important from the corporate leaders and we continued our work helping Latinx people in the United States economic equity. So they're helping the Latin people, Latin American. And donated an additional 1 million to the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. We invested 7 million in Latinx startup funders around the world through Latinx Funders Fund. That is Founders Fund. That means for two those who are interested to start a new business they can take fund from the google and they're helping through hispanic chamber of commerce commerce these are the programs and you as a hr manager you have to think about this side the social responsibility you have a social responsibility this is the example of social responsibility for gender equity in tech for gender equity in tech you know the company google created new resources for skills training, new mentorship programs, and more. Separate so example, they have a program, I Am Remarkable. It's a program, a Google initiative focused on empowering women and other underrepresented groups. We conduct training and workshop to improve the skill promotion and motivational skills for women and underrepresented groups. I Am Re Remarkable. This is another Google strategy, strategy for the retention and progression so to retain the employees in the company and progress of the employees especially social progression yeah, google has done a lot of jobs including different strategies undertaken by the company so among the takeaways we have discussed about the hiring techniques hiring strategies undertaken by the company then we have discussed about the retention and progression out of five we have discussed about the action number one hiring we have discussed about the retention and progression strategy and now we are going to discuss about the representation you have to represent the company as a home society society what are the what are the uh, what are the you know Representation strategies undertaken by Google. We have enlisted responsibility in the places we call home, building a Google that better reflects the diversity of our world. We made steady progress by reaching out and giving back, reaching out and giving back. So what the company is giving back? 
We are proud of our progress because these efforts have helped us achieve greater representation of the historically underrepresented groups in the tech industry. And they have also put us on track to achieve the racial equity commitments we have made alongside these efforts. We also expanded how we give back to communities on the globe. So you are investing people, the people is contributing to the company. You as a company is also thinking to give back to communities around the globe. Representation. Racial equity work we began in 2020 that we have already discussed. Racial equity platform, a digital tool. It is a, it is a strategy. Racial equity platform, a digital tool that provides learning content tailored to its reason so that Googlers around the globe can develop the knowledge, skills, and editors that help foster personal and shared sense of belonging at Google. So when you will find that there is no problem because of black, so you will try to stay in the company and you represent a black community. You represent a black community representation. We continue to invest in current and future employees. Black at YouTube, this is another program. YouTube Coffee Club, it is another program, a group dedicated to supporting uh, junior mid-level women in technical roles. We are continuing to exp expand our support for historically underrepresented groups in the tech industry. Representation. Ultimately, those who are underprivileged in the society, you are giving privileges to them. It is representation. You are identifying the underprivileged group, underrepresented groups, and then you are facilitating them. Representation. An inside look at YouTube, another program, a discussion that featured black product managers sharing how they have navigated their careers at YouTube. Another program. An inside look at YouTube. Black product managers are discussing about the discussing and sharing about their career progress. We invested in startups with founders from underrepresented communities around the world. We invested in startups with founders from underrepresented communities around the world. We created the Latinx Founders Fund with an initial 7 million investment. The Latinx Founders Fund gives founders cash awards of 100,000 in non dilutive. Non dilutive means you do not need to give the money back. That is known as non dilutive funding. This kind of support helps founders retain ownership of their company and avoid any debt. Black Founders Fund, Latinx Founders Fund. There are different funds that is, uh, you know, given to the underrepresented group, underrepresented groups for the social development, for the social development. <clears throat> and we invested in LGB, uh, LGBTQ plus run businesses. We partnered with the, th this is, you know, controversial um, uh, program in Bangladesh because, you know, BRAC in our country is promoting LGBTQ, but there are a lot of problems the company is facing, however, they're running the program. We partnered with the National LGBT Chamber of Commerce. This type of organization is nowhere in Bangladesh. The business voice of the LGBT community to provide their network of affiliate chambers with training and curriculums and resources that help small businesses adopt, grow, and better serve their community. Together, we delivered more than 100 digital skills workshops for them. Those who are, you know, 
lesbian, gay, binary, etc. 100 digital skills program. More inclusive demographic data. 6.7% self-identified as, as LGBTQ. 5.4% self-identified as having a disability. That means the people who are working in Google, 6.7% is LGBTQ. 5.4% people with disability. 5% self-identified members of military. That means retired military people are working in Google and it is 5% around. So the company Google is representing the society, representing their thinking about the social problem. They identify the social problem. They're helping the society and it is going from the company's diversity program. Or we are reading diversity report of Google, Google's diversity report. Diversity is one of the social responsibility that we have identified. And flexibility. Another diversification strategy of the HR department or the chief diversity officer. Flexibility. Flexibility, there is one of the strategies, room for all. That means those who are interested to come to office, those who are not interested to come to office, those who are on vacation, all are welcome in company, in the company. What are the specific programs that, you know, implemented? We implemented new policies and practices to make hybrid work more inclusive and accessible. More inclusive and accessible. We have created a return to office plan, return to office plan that centers on balance and well-being, whether you are interested to return office or not. Most Googlers will now spend approximately three days in the office. So three days in the office and two days wherever they work, best. maybe home or maybe in hotel. There is no problem. Whether that's in the office or at home. <coughs> we launched a global campaign called Room for All. That means flexibility. We are ready for all people. We are offering four work from anywhere weeks per year. So four weeks you can work from anywhere to give everyone more flexibility, particularly on summer and holiday travel. There are a lot of people, they go to travel in summer vacation, in, uh, in holiday vacation. When you are in summer vacation, in holiday vacation, you can work from anywhere. And maximum period is four weeks at Google. So Google is flexible. There are different diverse people. Those who are enjoying holidays are one group of people. Those who are not enjoying their holidays, another group of people. We brought Google Workspace to everyone. Today I have uploaded the class, class link in Google Workspace, isn't it? With a Google account for free, Gmail is free for you. In doing this, we are making it easier for people to collaborate on work. Google Meet, we can, you know, we can conduct the class of our Google Meet. We can share different projects, Google projects. So school projects, everything in between from advancing a cause to planning a family reunion, discussing this month's book club pick. That means which book is best. There is a group in Google. You can pick the best book. Flexibility. Google. Ensuring flexibility for the employees as a part of diversity management. Google is offering flexibility for the Google product users. Google Workspace is a Google product. And belongingness and innovation. Belonging, what do you mean by belongingness? Belongingness means that 
you're thinking that it is my own home. It is my own office. The Google is my own company. That is belongingness. When you will belong that the company is yours, then you will do better for the company. You will innovate new product. You will offer new services. You will start a new thinking for the company. Innovation. We took concrete step to foster a culture of belongingness. This helps better understand, design, and build products with everyone in mind. Belonging is a universal human need, and it's our responsibility to help foster it. Belonging is the common thread that bonds nations. Belongingness, if you're thinking that the one globe or global village, it is a common thread. Not threat, it is a common thread. In neighborhoods, families, communities, workplaces. At Google, our goal is to build a culture in which everyone feels that they belong. And they can meaningfully contribute to building helpful, universally accessible products and services. And as a student, don't you think that Google is your company? You're using Gmail, isn't it? It's free. It is also belongingness. Only those who are working, they're thinking that this is my company. As a whole, the social stakeholders are also thinking that Google is my company, helping me. Google search. Every day you are using Google search. You're thinking that Google search is your own product. Own product, google.com. So, it is one of the diversification or diversity management issue. Purple light up. It is another program or strategy. We are talking about the strategies, especially people related strategies and diversification, diversity strategies of Google. Purple light up is another program, another strategy, a global campaign that celebrates every employee with a disability around the world. They celebrate this day, those who are disabled. So disabled people also think that Google is my company because they have a separate purple light up program and they celebrate the program. We, we are weaving belonging into the fabric of our company practices. Principles pioneers, another program. Principles pioneers. So it trains about the Technology ethics, technology ethics. So when you are developing a program, are you thinking about the ethics? Are you doing any unethical program? Are you designing any unethical program? The training is given to the people of the society, principles, pioneers, for ethical development of technology product. You can, cannot ask that. Another program. Another program introduced by Google is you cannot ask that. The program creates a brave and respectful place, a res respectful place for any Googler to share stories and experiences that reflect ex experiences faced by themselves or their community. So if you have any problem, then you will write about the problem. Someone will give the answer to that problem. If you have the answer to a question, then you will write the answer to that question. So you are sharing your knowledge. It is known as the, you cannot yes. ask that program. Yes. Colon, I have got, you know, tell anything. Are with me. It's very, you know, cumbersome job. And uh, we are going to, you know, finish our lecture soon. Maybe you must be tired. Two and a half hours together is, you know, 
वेरी चार्ट समझा सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी एंड वी आर रीडिंग द डाइवर्सिटी रिपोर्ट नॉट रीडिंग इट इज द समरी समराइजिंग द डाइवर्सिटी रिपोर्ट ऑफ गूगल फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी एंड बिलोंगनेस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द belongness is it we respond to hate with support and compassion so stop asian hate this is also another program so you should not hate asian people you should respect them and you can say stop hate uh, you, you know american people from asia you will write stop american hate from america they write stop asian hate they sh should not hate people asian people we also announce 5.4 million in monetary grants and in kind add donations to support governments and non profits as they promote holocaust awareness and fight anti semitism this is also another program so if you develop holocaust awareness and fight anti semitism the google is funding to you and we work to create health equity using data and technology so they are also creating awareness about the health issues health issues our new health equity tracker this is the product of google and the product or the program is health equity tracker visualizes health data making more accountable and accessible especially say for example covid data covid tracker this type of health equity tracker is also available with google google if we sum up all the strategies of google that means social responsibility or diversity strategies of google then we can we, we can summarize that this is ultimately dib unconscious bias training they are offered to the employees unconscious bias training including hr managers apni namaz porar shomoy jore ikamat diben eta parben ki parben na ete ara karo khoti hoy kina jodi ikamat dite karo khoti hoy tale apni diben na so unconscious bias training gender equality portfolio that are there how many male people female people are working these strategies are there these are all human resource management related and little bit advanced racial justice portfolio keu ki kono race racial problem face kore kina tar solution ki everything is given there google publishes it black tech fest uh, conference jeto google e onek many white people are working so they organize a separate program for the black people who will join the conference and prove that they are best that is black tech fest conference google sports autism career program for the autistic people for the autistic people they are also partnering stand for neuro diversity project company guli educational institute ke funding kore seta apnara amader deshe nei bole amra jani na jemon ami ami phd kortam amar je professor er yearly apnar project company project project thakto 10 million japanese yen on average so stanford neuro diversity project was funded by google as a human resource manager as a social responsibility of the company you have to think about developing new projects for the betterment of your country society and for your company when this society will be developed your company will also develop impact challenge for women and girls another program 
financial program. They offer funds. They offer funds to mine the gap program in Israel. Mine the gap program is specially designed for science education, science, STEM, STEM education. Partnership with Native Americans, also they are helping Native Americans for their development, social responsibility. Free digital skills training to indigenous job seekers. Apni kurtabaren amader desher hill tracks people der jonno. Coding skills program important for new generation coding skills. American Association for Retired People, those who have already retired from the company as a corporate social responsibility, Google is helping them. Reprogramma. Reprogram is a Brazil, Brazilian program and funded by Google. And the program is ultimately for the development of the women in the society. It's up to me program. Whether you will stay in the company or leave the company it depends up to you. But the company is offering different retention strategies, opportunities. They identify the early signs of retirement. Why the people retirement are, are living? Why people are living? Separate management program. Elevate for elevate program is for mentorship. Momentum is also mentorship program. Elevate plus momentum of Google's mentorship program. The elevate is for one-to-one, one-on-one, -one, one -on -one, and momentum for black Google are network. This is also mentorship program. Maven mental or maternal health program. Maven maternal health program. This is for the, you know, expecting mothers, especially the, uh, those who are from the diverse group. Asian Googlers, stop Asian hate. This is also another program. Stop Asian hate. Upskilling and reskilling program. Latinx funders fund. This is, you know, Fund uh, giving funds to those who are interested to start the, the business, but the funds need not to get back. Get back. I am remarkable. This is also for the women empowerment program. Room for all flexibility in work or work from home, work from hotel, work from office program. Google Workspace, Google Drive, you are using. Gmail, you are using. Principles Pioneers, that means when you are developing any program, you have to follow the tech ethics. This is a training program for the programmers to follow the ethical standards. And you cannot ask that. If you have any problem, you, can, you will ask there someone in the community, Google community will answer the question. And this is available in many companies. So for example, my, Microsoft, there is a my, oh, help issues, help. In every program, say for example, here is a help, a help button. This is, you cannot ask program. Is there any help button? No. Yes, sir, this is help. If you need any help, you can write. And you'll get the answer. Answer. So, this is all about diversity. This is all about diversity. Maybe the coming lecture will be offline, isn't it? The coming lecture. Yes, sir. Expected offline, is it? Yes, sir. Attendance is uh, still pending, is it? Yes. Yes, sir. Attendance. For attendance, what can I do?